there's about 500 companies in Russia engaged in robotics, about 200 companies are involved in industrial robotics, and 300 companies are involved in service robotics. We're going to tell you about the most interesting robots from Russia, and some robots clearly stand out for their large size. For example, the company Integros produces giant hydraulic robots Roin. Roin is a remotely controlled, self-propelled manipulation robot for engineering tasks in six industries, such as nuclear, construction, railroad, oil and gas, mining, and metallurgy. The line includes eight models weighing up to 20 tons. Each model uses 30 types of attachments and is customized with packages of options. A quick coupler device is installed as standard on the end of the arm, which the operator will change the grip to a hydraulic hammer, metal shears, hydraulic drills, buckets, and other hydraulic equipment. In the nuclear industry, robots are controlled at a distance of 5 kilometers and have the best radiation protection on the market with radiation resistance of up to 75 gray per hour. In metallurgy, robots withstand temperatures over 350 degrees Celsius and they're used to repair ovens. The company also develops custom products with the help of a team with 20 years of experience. Join the efforts of Gazprom and Intecros, creating a new technology for remote extinguishing of gas and oil wells with the help of a heavy-class robot. For the needs of the railway industry, the R700 robotic complex has been developed, which is independent of the carrier. It can be installed on a truck or a railway platform. 30 of these machines change the technology of railroad track maintenance, reducing the number of required staff by three times. A light line of robotics is used for precise and safe demolition of concrete structures in construction. One machine replaces a team of 10 workers. In the mining industry, to move the robot underground, Roin is modified for the first time with a combined travel module for the narrow gauge railroad track of the mine, as underground equipment robots are used to build auxiliary tunnels. Multifunctionality and adaptability of solutions are the main principles to product development by Integros, which is reflected in their robotics. Interest in robotization of mining and quarrying operations in Russia is growing every year. Zephyr Robotics has been developing and implementing worldwide solutions for remote control and autonomous operation of mining equipment for more than 10 years. Among the solutions that have already been put into commercial operation are the ZR RoboTruck robotization systems for transporting minerals, the ZR RoboDrill system for drilling machines, and the ZR RoboDozer remote control system for bulldozers. All products of Zephyr Robotics can be integrated on the equipment of any manufacturer. So far, the company has robot dump trucks from Terex and Belarusian Automobile Factory. The use of robot machines in open pit mining enables uninterrupted operation of the quarry 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, reducing human presence in dangerous areas, reducing total operating cost by 10 to 30 percent, and increased service life of equipment by up to 15 percent. In Russia, the very first and largest robotization project was the introduction of robot quarry trucks and a robot drilling rig for the Siberian Coal Energy Company. Zephyr's robots are used not only in Russia, but also around the world. For example, in countries such as Kazakhstan and Peru, where local technical support is also provided through partner centers. The Zephyr Robotics team actively participates in ISO working groups on autonomous equipment and contributes to the sustainable development of the robotization of the mining industry in Russia and the CIS. If the Russian market is in your business focus and you would like to expand the capabilities of your solutions, the Zephyr Robotics team is open for cooperation. Working in a technological alliance helps reduce the cost of production technology of autonomous industrial robots and makes them more accessible to mining companies. Education The first jobs that robots are doing and will continue to take over are those that are dull, dirty, dangerous, and dear, also known as the four Ds of robotization. But also, robots are the future that humans are creating, and therefore, it's very important to educate qualified staff. Children's robotics education in Russia is well developed. School children take first place in international robotics competitions. There's several companies that develop educational robotic sets. A vivid example in this area is the company Robo, which is developing a sovereign platform for teaching children and teenagers robotics, microelectronics, the basics of smart home and artificial intelligence, 3D prototyping, and 3D printing. The platform's based on open hardware and free open source software. 
The Robo ecosystem includes its own educational equipment, detailed teaching materials, teacher training programs, international competitions such as Scratch Olympiad of Creative Programming and competition for makers and young engineers from the generation of engineers, and LMS or learning management systems with integrated VR or virtual reality simulators. The company's motto is simple, bring your child and you get an engineer. Robo seems to promote its Robo classes in public and private schools and offers its franchise network of children's robotic clubs all over the world. Robo clubs have already opened in 30 countries such as China, Japan, Germany, Finland, and many others. In 2021, Robo won the Russian-China Innovation Competition, and the company's CEO was successfully selected for the Zaijin Mount Talent High-Level Innovation and Entrepreneurship Talent Program in Najing. There too, the first Robo Club in China has just recently opened. Robo will be happy to see colleagues from China and discuss opportunities for cooperation in the field of educational robotics. If we talk about the older generation, all the leading technical universities in the world have robotics departments. Robotics is taught at more than 50 universities across the country, as well as at the new leading educational and research centers, Skoltech and Inopolis. They carry out both scientific developments and practical commercial projects. Unmanned Airborne Vehicle The field of drones in Russia is developing very actively and fast. According to experts, the effect from the use of drones in our country exceeds $1 billion. The UAV market in Russia is represented by more than 30 companies. One of the leaders in the UAV market is Geoscan. They have six types of drones for field exploration, agriculture, geodes geodesy, construction, mining, oil and gas, and energy. And the company also does drone shows, of which, with 2,198 drones, was an absolute world record back in 2020. It's not possible to discuss this and not mention Hive, the first company to create a mass production drone port. In a drone port, the robotic arm changes the battery in a couple of minutes, allowing the drone to fly 24-7 without waiting to recharge and without wasting time. Drones from the Zala Aero Group are also often used in geodesy and cartography. More than 2,000 Zala drones are in use in Russia for exploration and rescue operations, oil and gas infrastructure monitoring, surveying of high-risk areas and emergency situations. Unmanned Transport in Russia, the development of unmanned technologies for transport is engaged in world-class players such as Yandex, Sparavotech, and Starline. Yandex began to develop unmanned cars back in 2017. By the middle of 2021, the Yandex fleet consisted of 170 unmanned cars, and the total mileage on the roads of Russia, Israel, and United States was more than 13 million kilometers. And already, Yandex unmanned taxis are available for rides in Moscow and Annapolis. Spur, Russia's largest bank, established a separate business unit, Spur Automotive Technologies, in 2020. In 2022, the unmanned car has already begun to transport passengers in test mode, and this is the way the company's employees get to work. Starline's unmanned vehicles already in 2019 showed the best results in the finals of the Winter City competition, where they withstood the test of snow and poor visibility. If we talk about unmanned trucking, Kamaz and Evo Cargo stand out in this area. In 2020, Kamaz got a patent for an electric unmanned truck without a driver's cabin, and as part of the testing, drones will pass more than 20,000 kilometers by the end of 2022, and the first commercial unmanned truck transportations are expected as early as next year. Unmanned trucks from Evo Cargo carry 1.5 tons and provide 20 hours of continuous operation. We should also mention the development of Cognitive Pilot, who have developed a unique unmanned system for light and rail transport. Their drone system works even at night, in rain, fog, and snow. Cognitive Pilot, together with urban rail signaling provider Shanghai Fushin Intelligent Transportation Solutions, or FITSCO, have successfully implemented this system on the streets of China. Agriculture Cognitive Pilot is also a worldwide leader in agricultural robotization. Their autopilot is based on only a camera and radar that work in the optical and radio range, which makes it possible to reduce the cost of solutions many times over. The Cognitive Agro Pilot solution can reduce grain losses during harvesting by up to two times. The company sells its autopilot in Russia, Brazil, US, Europe, and Asia. Two years in a row, both 2020 and 2021, its technology won prizes in the International AgTech Breakthrough Awards. The Russian company Rostelmosh has also developed its own unmanned combine harvester. 
Logistics and Shipping There's more than 35 companies on the Russian market that produce or implement all kinds of robots for warehouses. The Ronavi Logistics robot is three to four times more efficient than other AMRs with a load capacity of 1,000 or more kilograms and is designed for 10,000 hours of continuous operation. Chinese logistics robots Geek Plus are also being introduced in Russia. For example, in 2021, the integrator Nisa Engineering introduced Russia's largest fleet of robots in the warehouses of a large retailer. 84 robots pick up 80% of all the store's online orders. Yandex has developed Rover, a robot courier that moves at speeds of 5 km per hour, widely used in Moscow for food and mail delivery. The robot has to work even in winter. Yandex also created robots for warehouses and dark stores, which are being tested at the marketplace's largest logistics complex of 80,000 square meters. One robot takes inventory of large items, and another robot places goods within the dark store and picks orders. Spurs Robotics Laboratory has developed Spur Shuttle, a robotic rack storage system. Shuttle robots move between racks on rails and transport containers of goods. The system also uses a cobot that automatically detects and packs goods of different sizes. Banking Sector Also, Spur Robotics Laboratory made the world's first banknote counting robot. Today, this robot is used in 13 centers, where it has increased efficiency by 300%. Humanoid Robots Speaking of robots that are as human-like as possible, I'd like to mention the company Promobot. The company makes robots for public places and hyper-realistic robots that work in government centers, museums, and airports. Robo Cafe And recently, Promobot introduced a Cyber Cafe, a cute robot cashier that offers high-quality coffee and fast service. The Monty Cafe, Kiki Robot Cafe, and Fibby Robo Cafe are also ready to offer food and drinks to their guests. Just in case you invite Kiki to your party and she needs help, I recommend checking out the Robot Sommelier from Spurs Laboratory. This is the world's first robotic complex for recommending, choosing, and serving wine.